How's it going guys, Linux Lay back with another distro review. Today's distro review will be taking a look at Parrot OS. It's a security oriented operating system. You got a couple different options here. Um, the security one, which is mainly for penetration testing, privacy, and digital, dig, digital forensics. Um, more like a, a Kali OS, um, a Kali Linux, and a Black Arch kind of feel to that. Um, kind of the same orientation right there. There's also a home and workstation, which is more privacy, more in use for uh, privacy protection, kind of like a Tails, so to say. And there's other builds for like ARMs, ARM-based uh, images and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and work with this home and workstation. So let's get that booted up and get to the initial install and review. All right, guys, we are at our bootloader here from the ISO. We got live mode, terminal mode, RAM mode, persistence, encrypted persistence, forensics, some fail safe modes, a couple different languages, and an install. We're going to go there. We got standard install, install with GTK GUI, and then install with speech synthesis. I'm just going to use the GUI for right now. I'm going to get out of this uh, VirtualBox message. It always likes to pop up here. Click that. Alright. Parrot OS. Got English. Click continue. Continue. Configure the keyboard. American English is fine. It is going to run some stuff. Shouldn't take too long. It's a neat little logo they got up there. Gonna detect network hardware. All right, full name for the new user. Linux Daily. Continue. That will be a perfect username. Type in a very secure password. Obviously, it's not the most secure password in the world, but it gets the job done for the video. So it's gonna load all that. Set up the partitioner. I want to use the entire disk, so I'm just going to use guided use entire disk. The only hard disk available is fine. So we could keep all the files in one partition. We could separate the slash home partition, or you could have a separate slash home slash var and slash temp partitions. I'm just going to use it all in one. Make it easy and finish. Yes, I want to write changes to the disk and click continue. At this point, it's going to install the system. It's probably going to take a little while, so I'll get back to you when that is complete. Alright guys, it is asking us if we want to install the grub, the grub bootloader to the hard disk. Install grub bootloader to the master boot record. That is perfectly fine. If we didn't do that, the system would not boot. So, now it wants us to pick the device, and our only option will be slash dev slash sda, because if we enter the device manually, we're going to have to enter that anyway. So it is going to do its thing. It's going to run update grub. Now it is going to run some more scripts, creep the users, and all of that. Alright guys, we are at our bootloader for our newly installed system. So we're going to go ahead and boot Parrot GNU slash Linux. We also have advanced options, but we will go ahead and boot Parrot. So we got our boot screen. I'm gonna get out of this virtual box message. Click out of that. That is perfect. So we are waiting for our system to boot. It's got a nice little boot screen. Type in a very secure password. So we got Parrot Updater. Update your system to apply the latest security updates. And important, import the latest features. No thank you, not at this time. Test our keyboard. It is working just fine. So, um... No, I don't want to check for updates. Get out of here. Alright, so this is our new system. Let's see what comes pre-installed with this. We got Compton, the compositor. 
you got a archive manager, GPA, a, uh, it's a privacy assistant. Generate key now. Let's do it. My name, Linux Daily. So forward. I'm not going to set all this up at this time. So uh, it's it's a privacy assistant. Key pass is a I'm pretty sure it's a password 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 manager or something like that. You got a calculator, a font viewer, search tool, a text editor. Um plain text notepad to-do list manager. Also works with Next Cloud and Own Cloud. That is neat. Color temperature adjustment tool. Siri Calc. Manage encrypted volumes hosted in folders. Take a screenshot and VS Codium. Let's see what this is all about. Pretty sure this is more of a IDE. Yeah, I think this is an IDE. Click here, new file. Yes. You can type code in here. And you got some debug stuff on the side. And this is a pretty neat looking IDE. Just click out of here. So that was under accessories. Under Anon Surf, you got Anon Surf Start, Stop, and then Check IP. You also got Change Exit Node. And the crypto uh um, cryptology, cryptography, can't pronounce anything today. You got GPA, Siri Calc, Zulu Crypt, graphical front end for Zulu Crypt CLI. We need our password. Create. Oh, we can uh, create encrypted containers in the file. That is neat. Zulu mount so you can mount your stuff it looks like LibreOffice is pre-installed you also got xboard not the best at this game so I'm not even gonna not even gonna try under graphics you got eye of mate it's an image viewer you got gimp LibreOffice Draw, Mate, Color Selector, and Shotwell, which is a tool to organize your photos under internet. This is where the fun stuff comes in. You got Dino, which is a Jabber and XMPP client. Do not have any accounts for this. Um, under internet, you got your Bitcoin Wallet, Firefox, Hexchat, Onion Circuit, so... You can monitor your Tor circuits and connections there. You can uh, share your file securely and anonymously over Tor with Onion Share, Qubit Torrent. You can download and share files over a BitTorrent. Ramima, Ramina is to connect to remote desktops. Ricto Chat is a anonymous, anonymous instant messaging. Thunderbird. And last but not least, the Tor browser. Thunderbird is a mail client, by the way. Under Office, you got a document viewer, home bank, free, easy, personal accounting for everyone. And you also got your LibreOffice suite. You got a dictionary and a planner. Genie. Actually, I clicked the wrong one. I already, already looked at that one. So let's go to Genie. Let's see what this is. This looks more of, of a full-fledged IDE. You have a uh, thing. What if we do like print, print test and we save this as test.py. Save. I'm not quite sure how to use this. You might have to like import some stuff. Oh, I forgot the uh, there. Now we gotta save it. 
I'm not quite sure how to make it use Python. Oh, it's saying it worked. Yeah, I think it worked actually. That's neat. So that was under programming. That was um, that was Genie. We also got VS Codium, which we already took a look at, and Zeal. Under sound and video, you got Brazero, which is a tool to burn DVDs, copy DVDs to ISOs, and pretty much everything in between. You got a webcam booth, media player, rhythm box, sound, and VLC. Bleach bit, free space, and maintain privacy. So this is probably one of those tools they gotta gotta be careful with. They could probably screw something up with this fairly easily. Delete obsolete files. Yeah, so this is um it probably writes zeros instead of just deletes the uh little pointer like they usually do. So you got it as root as well. Kaja is probably a Yep, it's a file browser. Really nice looking one, too. If we were at System Tools, we had Decomp Editor, GDB, let's go back to System Tools. You got Gparted, which helps you uh, manage your partitions. Hardware Lister, HTOP. This is a, um, command line like resource monitor is what this is you see all the process IDs here and you see how much RAM CPU usage and the command that started it right over here at the time that it's been running all of that it's all done through here and you also see a little little line graph up here that's also the same utility that when you open a terminal, you could click a, you type in H top, and also comes up. And you type in top, and it also comes up. Log file viewer, metadata anonymization toolkit, Monte disk usage analyzer. We have nothing. Pretty much on here. System tools again. We got system monitor. So we got Parrot, 64-bit, you have your uh, version here, 6 gigs of RAM, i7. So that's your system stats right there, I have 6 gigs allocated to the VM. On the processes, you have your parent process and looks like all of your child processes underneath that seem to all be sleeping. So this looks like a task manager pretty much. You got resources and file systems. Yeah, this looks like a task manager as well as your HTOP. But your HTOP won't be able to kill process. You have to X out of that and do that manually. With that, you also got your terminal, power statistics, report bug, root terminal, a couple of terminal emulators and Zulu mount as we saw before. And I haven't quite seen this one, the virtual keyboard. Which looks like it comes from Windows 3.1. Not the most modern looking keyboard by no means. And what was under this? Onboard? which is a more modern looking keyboard. So that was that. Let's take a look at the terminal. It's got a neat little theme. I'm pretty sure it is built off of Ubuntu. So apt is going to be our package manager. So we're going to install something and type in our very secure password. I do like the uh, green on black. Scheme has got going on by defa default. And it also does look quite a bit like a Mac, given these icons over here, the uh, 
minimize close and restore buttons so now that's installed we're going to type that in so here we go we got screen fetch we can also remove that by replacing this with remove see if it does use apt so that was um parrot os it is a distribution built off of ubuntu that is designed to be secure we can change our desktop background um it's more of a security oriented operating system as you can tell by this lock symbol You're, it's supposed to be privacy oriented that's why it comes up tor browser now there is also a version of it that has penetration testing and uh, forensics and all that which I may do a video in the future about it is a competitor to Kali Linux and Black Arch Linux but this is their like home privacy oriented one that is focused more like tails or cubes so I hope you enjoyed the video I'll catch you in the next one